What's up, coaches? I'm Brad Ellingsworth. This is my YouTube channel, Coach E. It's devoted to all things football, especially being simple and playing fast. If at any point in time, guys, you enjoy the content, please hit the like button, shoot me a comment, and definitely subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the new content that gets rolled out on the channel. Speaking of simple, going to be a real quick and simple video today on efficiently conditioning throughout your practice. Uh, so, you know, you don't have to feel like you either got to do it at the end or you're stressing out. You just avoid it all together because you don't feel like you have time. I think, you know, I have something really simple and easy that you could benefit from in terms of conditioning. I do want to add a caveat to this video. Uh, this, this video is really geared towards schools with lower participation and not a lot of kids in their program because ultimately I know that conditioning is something that really the bulk of it should be done uh, in pre or in off season in the summertime. But the fact of the matter is when you get, if you've ever coached at a school where you've got only 40 kids in the program, nine through 12, uh, you can't leverage kids starting positions with participation in the weight room. I mean, if you can, good for you, but um, it's really hard to do that when you have super low participation. So, and, and, and really it's also geared towards schools that have a ton of two way players. So, that's really where this video is geared towards. I just wanted to give you that heads up before we got going. Um, you may still be able to get this video, get something out of this video if that's not you, but just wanted to give you a heads up. So let's go ahead and uh, I wanted to give you a visual of how this would look, uh, the field setup would look. So the orange triangles represent players. There's 11 yard lines. You can use the back of the end zones to make 13 lines, which would give you 26 players. If you have some extra players, you can always just stick them in the middle like I have them here. And uh, they're just running across the field. So, you know, don't hit anything or anybody. Uh, we were lucky enough. We did have two fields, two practice fields that were adjacent to one another. One was the varsity field. One was the JV field. Uh, we had about 30 to 35 guys on varsity, 25 to 30 guys on JV. So, the numbers and space really worked well for us. Uh, this was done. We paired this with their water break. So, like, let's say after – indies or after whatever we gave them water i gave them about two minutes for water that's really not a lot of time i know <laughs> i'm sure we've all been guilty about not giving our players enough time for water but i give them about two minutes for water and then just yell lines 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 and they would run to their positions and so everybody would get to the left of their yard line and and it was one command and everybody ran at once so just to kind of again give you a vis visual visualization you know blow the whistle and all these guys are running at once right so they're running and they pass each other on a yard line right and then they get down to the other side and i won't do this with all these but just again and again <laughs> this is all happening at once right so they would all be running and they would end up on the other side now you can imagine that with all of these guys right so it's one command we, and and nobody's waiting for their rep right everybody is going at once so that maximized our time and I, I it was 10 seconds rest in between and we looked to get about four to five reps um before we got out of the period and went to continue with our practice and we wanted to embed three of these periods throughout our practice plan so i want to show you a sample practice plan now i'll show you an offensive and a defensive so here is a sample defensive plan and it's real bare bones defensive plan, but video is not about the defensive plan. Um, so you can see here where we would embed it. We you know all our times are timed out. This would take about five minutes to do. Okay. Um, and we would just, you know, when they got done with their lines, boom, you know, Hey, break it out. You know, for me, it was two claps and a Ric Flair, get to your Indies, boop, boop, woo, you know, and they would go to their Indies. And, um, but we would do this <clears throat> three times throughout practice. And then we would save one for the end, but the one at the end, since we've already done it twice was again, just a really quick five minute and we're going to get four reps out of it and that's it. And we're done, but we've already done it twice. So you figure if you get four to five reps during each period, um, you're looking at 12 to 15, 50, almost five yard sprints. And, you know, that's a lot. I mean, that's – and you, you multiply that by however many times you practice throughout the week. <clears throat> you know, your kids are really getting a lot done. And mind you, they still have to go throughout practice. So you're also testing their mental toughness with, yeah, you just conditioned, but now you got to go to defensive ending and give me maximum effort too, right? Yeah, we just conditioned, but now you got to go to defensive team and give me maximum effort as well. 
And that same thing here on offense, this offensive plan, we, um, you know, we got three periods in 12 to 15 reps throughout practice. So four to five reps for each period. And I'm telling you, the periods didn't take any longer than five minutes max for water and conditioning. Okay. All right, guys, hopefully you get something out of that. I really feel like that's a great way that we utilized conditioning and, and made it work for us. Uh, so again, hope you got some out of that. If you enjoyed anything you saw today, please drop the like button, shoot me a comment. And again, please subscribe so you can keep up to date with anything coming out on the channel. I'm Brad Ellingsworth. This is my YouTube channel, Coach E. Be simple, play fast.